Hi and welcome to the first video in this course on Ruby development. The very first thing we're going to start off with is we're going to work on our environment and in this video uh, we're going to learn how to use variables and how to print those out to the screen. Very simple uh, very basic kind of stuff and so it, the, what we're going to use you could set this up locally and use the command line uh, but because I would rather spend more time working on actually learning the language as opposed to setting up environments which there are plenty of tutorials teaching you exactly how to do that um, I wanted to skip ahead and so we're going to use this site called Repelit, which works excellent for Ruby and also Python and JavaScript and another other languages. So uh, you can see, just go to repl.it. If it's the first time you've gone, it'll ask you to select the language. And on the top right hand side, we're going to come up to Ruby. And the format of this is on the left hand side is where we're actually going to have the ability to type and then on the right hand side this is where our output's going to be and so we'll type something and then it'll appear out here when we run the program so uh, since this is how we're going to work on variables the uh, very first thing you're going to do is just type a name in and Ruby makes it very nice and easy it is dynamically typed which means that if you're coming from a background of Java or C where you had to put things in like int or string or something like that, Ruby does not make you do that. So we can do something as basic as just typing a name equals and then if it's a string put it in quotations and I'll say my name and then we'll put another one and say age and for that one we'll equal 30 and for our program it will be very very basic we're just going to learn how to print out to the console and so we'll say puts name and then puts age and now we're going to run it and it'll just print out my name and age and there you go that was extremely easy that was a very quick video some of the videos will be nice and quick like this uh, if you have taken my Rails course, you'll know that uh, some of the videos can extend out quite a bit longer, but that is because Rails is actually dealing with building out uh, you know, full-fledged web applications and are, in many cases, much more involved. And here, I'm just trying to teach you how to learn the language. And so I'm going to try to keep these as short and as sweet as possible. So congratulations. If, you, if this is your first time using Ruby, you now know how to use variables for both strings and integers and we're going to move ahead in the next video and learn how to start manipulating strings.